As the fashion industry continues to evolve with the emergence of fast fashion brands like Zara and H&M, consumers now prefer to purchase from these brands rather than wait several months to have a fresh set of clothes from high-end brands that take months to create and release new collections. One fast fashion retailer stands out from the others, though. This is Billionaire Behavior, and if you're curious as to why Shein is this generation's style icon, just keep on watching. But before we begin, in, be sure to click the subscribe button and ring the bell icon to make sure you never miss out on any of our future videos. Shein is a 2008-founded B2C fast fashion business owned by Nanjing Lingtian Information Technology Company. Chris Zhu founded the business, which has its headquarters in China. Both men's and women's clothing are the main focus. Other clothing categories that Shein carries include children's clothing, accessories, luggage, and shoes. Along with consumer markets in other countries, Shein primarily targets consumers in America, Europe, and the Middle East. Shein provides something for everyone, whether they prefer boho skirts, graphic shirts, fashion jewelry, and much more. Shein is incredibly well-liked by individuals of all ages, particularly the stylish Gen Zs. Almost all fashion bloggers and vloggers have published content on Shein at some point. Why? It's simple because Shein provides its customers worldwide with fashionable, reasonably priced apparel that is of high quality. As of 2022, Shein, a Chinese company that ships to 220 nations, will be the largest fashion store worldwide. Following a fundraising round in April 2022, the corporation was valued at $100 billion. However, you would be mistaken if you believed that its founding was as simple as it seems. First, let's talk about Chris Zhu, the founder and CEO of the company. He's only made a few appearances, and he certainly maintains a mysterious personality. The reports did state that he is a formerly employed digital marketer with SEO knowledge and has a whopping net worth of $5.4 billion. Moreover, Shein claims to have been created in 2012, although according to a number of sources, the company's history really dates back to 2008 in eastern China. At that time, Zhu and his business partner established Dianwei, an online store purportedly selling anything from fake items to bridal gowns. It was at this point that Zhu appeared to have improved the business strategy that would ultimately propel Shein to success. The domain that would become Shein was registered in 2011, the same year that Zhu and his companions split up. But how did such a shrouded in mystery business achieve its billion dollar success? Well, one clear cause is the growth of social media, especially given that the firm was founded in China, which has steadily improved its smartphone market share. In addition, the firm utilizes an on-demand business strategy. This implies that new goods are developed in tiny quantities, with manufacturing only ramping up in response to demand. Due to the company's decision to avoid producing big quantities of items that consumers don't desire, there's less clothing waste and less manufacturing costs. To find new trends, Shein also makes use of algorithms and data science. According to CoreSight, Shein updates its website with an average of 2,800 new designs each week. In contrast, fast fashion rival Boohoo, located in the UK, offers about 500 new styles each week. Shein's supply chain management software, which factories must adopt and exchange, also enables the company to carefully monitor the manufacturing process and to communicate real-time consumer search data with suppliers to direct design and production. Additionally, this guarantees that new, popular items are manufactured as quickly and affordably as possible. In turn, their low pricing entices teenagers with little spending power to buy online and share their purchases on social media. According to CNN, TikTok plays a significant part in bringing clients to the business website because of a TikTok trend where users buy big quantities of clothing from Shein and display those purchases to their audience as part of the typical haul videos. And as a result, the number of Shein's app downloads surpassed those of Amazon in 2021. The business also provides reasonably modest costs to peak interest and encourage user engagement. Customers that spend more are rewarded with extra discounts, which are urged to be used on their subsequent shopping trips. Shein encourages users to visit the site regularly to do tasks, including adding things to their basket, watching live sellings, and participating in its contest show in order to collect points that may be redeemed. 
Shein also makes use of its algorithm-driven recommendation system. This way, customers will have an additional opportunity to be exposed to information and incentives to purchase as a result. How the company produces such a large quantity of clothing every day is now the main question. Although Xi'an did not initially create its apparel, the firm mostly purchased its clothing from Guangzhou, China's wholesale garment district. However, Xi'an obtained its own supply chain system in 2014, turning it into a fully integrated company. The business now manufactures and delivers its products products through a network of suppliers and manufacturing partners. Xi'an forecasts trends and creates products as soon as three days after a trend is identified. Xi'an also places orders in tiny batches of 100 or fewer goods to evaluate consumer demand, unlike some of its rivals like Zara who place orders of roughly 500 or more, increasing their risk of losing money if orders are not filled in full. Xi'an can also increase margins by avoiding paying export and import taxes. The company's ongoing prosperity, nevertheless, is not without its share of misfortune. Covid restrictions were being eased overseas, but they were being stricter in China, and Xi'an's development started to halt. In addition to that, the company also faces many controversies. On social media, a number of small designers have accused Xi'an of stealing their creations and selling them for a far lower price. And it causes chaos in the sector because it enables big businesses to really take in all the money that may have gone to independent, small-town shops and designers. Not just independent designers are affected. Even Doc Martens and Levi Strauss have filed lawsuits against Xi'an for allegedly duplicating their items and selling them for less money. It's been claimed that Xi'an paid some designers a settlement in connection with copyright infringement accusations and that they have already removed from sale some of the allegedly infringing designs. The business declares that it takes copyright infringement seriously in a 2021 statement in the Financial Times. Watchdog groups like Switzerland's Public Eye have expressed concern about the working conditions on Xi'an's manufacturing lines in light of the company's capacity for producing clothing quickly. Its manufacturing method is still a mystery. Xi'an told the BBC that the company has a stringent supplier code of conduct and that if non-compliance is discovered, action is taken right away. It has a significant lack of openness, which might be problematic for Xi'an since if it wants to attract investors, it must be transparent and give people confidence in what is occurring inside the company. In addition to disputes over intellectual property theft, the company suffered a data breach in 2018 that exposed the encrypted passwords and email addresses of 6.42 million users. This breach prompted security experts to criticize the retailer's reactive cybersecurity strategies and inability to adequately protect its customers' information. Due to privacy concerns, the business was also prohibited in India. The Xi'an app and 59 other Chinese apps were classified by the Indian Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology under Section 69A of the Information Technology Act of 2000. As these said apps pose a threat to the sovereignty and integrity of India, the Indian government has decided to forbid their use on both mobile and non-mobile internet-enabled devices. Furthermore, Section 69A gives the federal government the authority to command the restriction of public access to any material via any computer resource. Despite this, buying Xi'an items from websites not covered by Section 69A is still acceptable in India. Additionally, the business also received criticism for allowing the exhibition of inappropriate images. A swastika necklace was reported in July 2020 and subsequently taken off from the website in reaction to a strong public outcry. But later on, the business stated that the necklace was really a Buddhist sacred symbol rather than a Nazi swastika. Xi'an also came under fire in May 2021 for selling a phone case with a drawing in chalk of a handcuffed black guy. Xi'an apologized for the insulting photo as well as for utilizing it without the owner of the original design's consent. Adding to the brand's long record of scandals, Xi'an is accused of abusing its factory workers in a TikTok video that went viral in June 2022 and had more than 40 million views worldwide. In the said TikTok video, it speculates that Xi'an workers are asking for help from consumers by hiding secret messages in clothing tags. 
That said, they've been surreptitiously writing need your help or help me on the tags for its products. According to some sources, tags like do not dry clean due to water saving technology, need your help washing with the soft detergent the first time, are seen by many as a hidden message from Xi'an employees who were coerced into working for the company. Additionally, another viral compilation video with almost 6.6 .6 million likes has been going around on TikTok. It features images of various messages that people claim to have discovered in clothing packages, such as a help me message on a receipt, one note even saying that they have dental pain. However, Xi'an has already responded to these claims and denied all accusations thrown at them. In the end, we will never know the truth if no proper investigations are imposed. To wrap things up to a conclusion, it just demonstrates how many people continue to view the brand as problematic despite the fact that it is highly successful, especially during its peak in the COVID-19 quarantine. And that ends our video for today. Until next time.